Hey everybody, Joy here. It's a Saturday morning in July. It's July 30, 2022. And I'm making myself a birthday present today. So I thought of this idea. Now, yesterday, if you didn't watch me yesterday, go back to yesterday and just slide the bar down at the bottom until you see pictures of fabric. <laughs> and you can see the fabric that I bought recently at Hobby Lobby. And I told all of you that I'm gonna make shorts out of it. And some of you like shook your head and thought, oh, does that woman not know she's 72 years old? <gasps> does that woman not know that that's not gonna look good as a pair of shorts? <laughs> I disagree with you. <laughs> now, I think the, the problem here is, um, what is it in that movie, Cool Hand Luke? I remembered. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Paul Newman. Okay, here's the thing being. I am going to make shorts, but I use the term shorts very liberally. I'm not liberal in any other way. I promise you that. <laughs> And, yes, I know I'm 72 years old, and yes, I know that I shouldn't be dressing like a teenager, and I don't usually. But, when I wear shorts, I am here. I'm right here in my sewing room, or I'm outside in my woods, or I'm on my patio, or I'm over in the barn with Jerry. I never, ever, ever, ever get in the car and go anywhere with shorts on. And I'll tell you why. It's not just because I'm an old lady. It's because when I was a young lady, in my 30s and there was a point in our life um probably about 40 then a point in our life where we had a business in this town and a business in oklahoma city 150 miles apart and we had two commercial buildings one here one there and we had people that worked for us in both of them of course well at one point my manager of the oklahoma city store I don't know what happened to her. Anyway, she, she went somewhere else. I don't even remember. But anyway, the manager quit. And so I thought, oh my goodness, I've got to go up there and manage that store because Jerry's a pharmacist. And our pharmacy, our little pharmacy then, which was making the uh, solutions for the little children's machines where they inhale it, you know, when they can't breathe. I've never used it, but I know y'all know what it is. Well, our little pharmacy for that was down here. So Jerry couldn't leave. We couldn't have the store open here if Jerry wasn't here. So I had to go by myself. And we had sold our home there. The idea was we sold our home there and we came down here and built a home and started a business here and we were supposed to not go up there anymore. We were supposed to sort of retire. <laughs> well, that never happened. <laughs> so I had to go up there all by myself. So I had to stay in hotels. And there was this one place that was called Some Kind of Suites and it was in a great location and um, close to where I had to go every day to our store to manage it. And um, so it was the kind of place that you could rent by the week or by the month. And it had like a little kitchen in it and a little living room and a little bedroom. So I was staying in a place like that. Well, one time when I was there, because I was there alone, you know, and um, it had the little couch and, you know, TV and a little living room. Well, I had on shorts. Short shorts, and I was sitting on the couch. No blanket, no anything under me, just sitting on the couch and watching TV. I woke up the next morning, the back of my thighs were totally, totally broken out in hives. My calves, my thighs, the whole back of my legs broken out in hives. It was horrible. And it was something on that couch. I don't know if people had had dogs on the couch. I don't know if the hotel had sprayed the couch with something. So from that point on, I never went any place but home without my legs being totally covered. So that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> and of course now, I don't have the legs I had then. Thank God I still do have legs and they're not broken and my bones feel fine, not of arthritis or anything. So praise God, praise God. But um, I love to wear shorts here. We had rain this morning. <gasps> we had the most beautiful rain. Oh, praise God for every drop. We've been, what, over a month 
six weeks with no rain here in southern Oklahoma. Oh my goodness. And then other places, I think it's Kentucky's having floods. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I brought that crazy fabric. This is one of them. And I said I was going to make shorts. So I want to show you my interpretation of shorts, okay? And then I wanted to ask you all, hey, you want to make some with me? Do you? I think what I'll do is I'll figure out what I want to do and I'll get it ready. And then maybe today, maybe Monday, the day before my birthday, maybe Monday, that's not my birthday. My, my birthday is August 4th, so whatever day that is. Anyway, <laughs> I want to have some shorts before my birthday. It's August and it's hot. <laughs> so I wanted to show you my idea of shorts, okay? So I went through my pattern stash. Oh, how wonderful to have a pattern stash. And what I've done, for those of you who are new, hey, I'm so excited you're here. And I think you figured out now, I'm not just about sewing and I'm not just about quilting and I'm not just about anything. So <laughs> forgive me for my videos I make that you all don't like. Just don't watch them, okay? So I'm going to show you my idea of shorts. Here is number one. Now remember, these are bright, crazy fabrics. Here's one. This is an old pattern. Now, Viv would know what year this was. I don't know what year this is. <laughs> but I love these shorts. Let me show them to you. This is a Simplicity um, 7888. Now, I suppose you probably can't get it anymore if it's as old as I am. Let me see on the back if it says what year. What year are you? Oh, this is from 1992. So I doubt you can get it anymore. But look at the shorts. See how they are? They're absolutely going to have a rubber band waist that my mother called it. An elastic waist. They're going to be pull on and pull off. And I have several different cute styles here. And look at the patterns. Look at the wild print the lady made. See, I love that. I love it. I think it's just awesome, and I even love the jacket. Oh my gosh, is that cute? Hold on, I got my spam call, I gotta stop it. I get two or three spam calls a day, do you guys? Okay, so that's one version. Now here's another version, and these are all patterns I've had forever and ever. Let me see if I can find the year on this one. Because you'll say, well, can we still buy that pattern? You don't need this pattern. Find any pattern of shorts. You can take a pants pattern has a rubber band waist. This is from 2022, so this is new. This is new. Look at that. And these are super cute shorts and have really interesting pockets. Now, I probably won't make my shorts that short. I probably will make my shorts that short. I like that. But they have really fun pockets. Let me see if you can see the pockets real good. Now, you can still buy this pattern. Are those cute or what? And rubber band. Rubber band waist. You can make them short, you can make them long, you can make skirt, you can make pants. How cute are those shorts? Now, if it doesn't show up very good on the camera, let me show you the line drawing in here. I think you can tell. See how cute the pockets are? Ah, love them. Okay. So, these patterns aren't gonna fit me the way they are. The crotch isn't gonna be right. So, I will do a video, and I will show you all how I figure out the crotch. I've done it before, but, you know, who wants to go back and watch an old video? I'll show you again how you figure out the crotch, how much goes in the front, how much goes in the back. Measure your biggest part of you, which is, you know, I think my belly sticks out more than my butt does these days. Much to my dismay. Measure the biggest part of you. Make sure it's going to go around the biggest part of you. You know... It's whatever is below your waist. You know, call it what you want to call it. <laughs> it could be your thighs. Whatever it is, make sure you've got enough fabric in your shorts to come up and go down and come up and go down. Important. Now look at this. I call this shorts also. I don't wear a lot of capris. Jerry um, doesn't like capris. I like them if they're pretty short. But... Um, and if I did have capris, I might wear them somewhere. I really might. But look at look at the print that the lady used to make these, or the company used to make these. I think it's just awesome. And all of these things that I make are going to have a white top with them. So how cute is that? 
Can you see it real good? Let me hold it back a little bit. This is M4469. And it has a cute tank top in it. It has a cute uh, shirt in it. Now, of course, you could shorten these to shorts. Now, these do not have a rubber band waist yet. If I make them, these will have a rubber band waist. So I'll show you how to do that, too. Okay, that was McCall's 4469. Alrighty now, this is McCall's 4845, and it's another capri or a short or a pant. And it's just plain, simple, easy, has a really cute tank top, has another shirt that's super cute. I, the problem is I only bought enough fabric to make a capri. I, I didn't buy enough to make a top and a bottom. I may have to dash back to Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, Jerry asked me what I wanted for my birthday. I may have to go back to Hobby Lobby, and that's 45 miles from here. <laughs> you know, when you're old and your husband asks you what you want for your birthday, you can, like, go a week before, a month before. <laughs> I already know what he wants for his. <laughs> so how cute is that? Now, these are a rubber band waist. Pull on and pull off and has really cute tops. So... Easy, easy pattern. I don't know if the shorts have pockets, but they might. Okay, what else do we have here? I just pulled these out of my, my pattern boxes. This is old. This is Butterick 5056. I think this is really old. Let's see if there's a year on it. 1997, my friends. <laughs> so this is pretty old. And I have circled the large, and then I have written down add to hip. But I have on here that I was going to make this for Tammy. I made Tammy um, scrubs. She's a nurse, and I made her a big set of scrubs, and I used this to make her scrub pants. I remember now. But look at this easy short pattern. Rubber band waist. Easy to make. Doesn't look like it has pockets, but oh my goodness, you could make four a day. Easily. Easily. Wonderful, wonderful. It has a vest. I don't. I wouldn't make a vest. I think that's mm, very outdated. And but you could make the pants. And then it has this this shirt down here. You could make. So another cute pattern. Five oh five six butter it. Butter it. I have one more that I pulled out of my stash. This is my favorite. And this may be the one I make. Out of, one of those wild prints. Oh my gosh. This one has two really wild prints. And they've made the top and the skirt shorts to match. I love it. I don't, I, do you call this a skort? What do they call it? Yeah, they call it a skort, which is part skirt and part shorts. Oh, I just love it. You could actually make this to just above your knee. Uh, these girls have it a few inches above their knees, and that's where I'll make it on me, too. But you could make it longer if you wanted to. And then it has this cute, cute tank top with it. Look at this pattern. It's just darling. It's 5608 Butterick. And it has shorts with a little skirt on top of it. If you'd ever hold anything still, Joy, I know. You know, I don't know what y'all can see until I edit and I see it later. But did you see? Did you see? The print, the print. The print, the print. The print, the print. Hey, I love it. But you're a grandma and old lady. I don't care. I still like it, and that's what I'm making. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. If you want to make some shorts some capris, a skort, or whatever you call it. <laughs> get yourself some material and uh, just pull it out of your stash somewhere. Get, get any old pattern out of your stash that has some shorts on it or pants. You can cut them off. Get yourself some material. Get yourself a sheet. There's the lady out there on YouTube. What's your name? Jen Sewing Room. And she sews lots of stuff out of sheets. I never knew anybody did that, but she does it. So, hey, get yourself a sheet. <laughs> Find something to make a muslin of the shorts. And then once you get it perfected to fit around all of your, you know, ins and your outs and your arounds and 
over and through and under and everything. <laughs> then you can whip up a whole bunch of them. Okay, let me know what you think about that because I'm definitely going to do it. But first of all, this is the day of Judy Kessinger's dress thing, you know, July 30, 2022. And so that's the first thing I've got to get done today. I'm wearing a Fit Nice System top. This top she actually made for me. It's called the Joy Top because I told her I'd like one with a square neck. So she actually made this pattern for me, and you can buy it. I think it's $3, one of her cheapest ones. <laughs> she made another version of it later that's a little different and it's got a dart a little dart here and a little dart here and it makes this part stay straight see just look if i was to take a dart here and here see how much straighter that would stay so it's really cool but i don't know what that one's called so anyway this is a fit nice system a lot of you said well what what pattern did you use what was the pattern number it wasn't a pattern number it's just fit nice system top pattern that's what it is. She, Fit and I System has two patterns. One for tops, one for pants, and she has three books that show you how to make anything in the whole world using those two patterns. It's really a cool system. All right, my friends, this isn't about that, and I'm not an affiliate. I'm not a anything. I just jabber all the time, and whatever I'm doing, that's what I jabber about. All right, y'all have a super fantastic, marvelous weekend. And I will make a video of me putting this all together. So y'all can uh, do it too if you want to. Alright, bye for now.